Hey everybody, Rob Tucker, Team MPA. I'm gonna go through some dry fire drills over the next few weeks and months. Uh, but first let's start with the setup and some of the things that I use in the dry fire training to make as realistic as possible. Well, as you can see, I'm in my garage. So you don't need a whole lot of space. You could use a garage, a spare bedroom. As long as you've got about 15 feet to make this work, then you can make it work too. So let's chat and let's go see, and I'll give you a tour of what I use. As you can see, I have got my barricade. I'll even include the barricade plans if you want those. And of course, my rifle, my Armageddon gear plus one bag. You'll notice on the front that I've got a DFAT trainer, DFAT. And it's just a lens that makes it so that I can do dry fire training at a much reduced distance than normal training. You'll also see up at the top what's called a Mantis X which I learned originally from my daughter when she was training for the Olympics. And it's a laser, not really a laser, but just something that will show you your before shot, during shot, and after shot. And of course, I've got my target stands on the wall as well. It's only about 11 and a half feet between the target and my barricade. So now let's go through some drills. All right. So here's a simple drill that I do on a consistent basis just to make sure that I can get from position to position. And you can do this from anything. I've got my barricade, um, I've got my rifle, my bag, and of course I've got my DFAT system attached to it as well. So I can do this anywhere, whether it's a garage or a spare bedroom or anything like that as well. So when I'm doing this process, I wanna go ahead and have everything on. So I've got my send it level on, um, I've got my magazine in, it is unloaded of course, and here's the drill. I want to work on just one thing and break down one thing to get the movement correct. So I'm going to work on moving from this standing position to the kneeling position. I don't need a whole lot of room, but all I'm doing is starting in the standing position and move to the kneeling position. So I'm going to make sure that the things that I'm concentrating on are my leg position, my body position, my shoulders that are square to the target or as close to that as I can possibly get them. And I wanna start in this position. And I'm gonna make sure as I'm going through that I'm practicing my process. So I'm aiming, looking over the scope. When I come down on the scope, I'm watching my breathing as it goes through as well. I'm coming into, making sure that my send it level is correct, my grip is correct, and I'm gonna go ahead and take the dry fire position and dry fire shot from here. Once I do that, and I make sure that my trigger is pressed to the back, I visualize and rehearse seeing where the impact is gonna hit, then I'm gonna practice my movement. Move, bolt back, coming in, into the position, making sure my bag is correct. Again, making sure that my body is as square to the rifle as possibly can. Practicing my position on top, finding my target with my landmark. Eyes go down, hand to the bolt, move forward. Exhale. And a good press to the rear and rehearse seeing where the shot is impacting. Let's do that a little bit again. Again, I'm just practicing that one movement from a standing position to a kneeling position, but you notice it's from an open standing position to what I call a closed kneeling position. In other words, I have to bring the rifle back with efficiency, put it into a window so that I can practice that, making sure that I am moving it correctly, making sure that I'm not hitting the scope as well on the window, which I've done. So here's, here we go. So again, coming in, making sure that my position, my MPA is correct. That is correct. I wanted to get it 
from a different angle so that you can see it from the front of the position. And sometimes I'll do this video as well uh, so that I can see the difference in a side rear view, angle view, and also from the front too. So we're going to do the exact same drill. I'm going to start with it in the correct position on the top as well. Again, I'm looking at my body position, my legs, making sure that I'm using as little muscle in the process as possible, coming in directly behind the rifle, following my process, finding my target, And I'll continue that process over and over uh, from all positions, moving from one to the other to make sure that I'm doing that with efficiency, make sure that I'm following my process and I'm comfortable moving those and getting into a steady position each time. 